Department is a university administered robotics team here for R3D, and this is our day two log. Um, what we did this or yesterday was we kind of just kept testing what we found on the first day, which was the um, in body hookup system and launching. One thing that we really found difficult was shooting it into here because this thing will almost always just bounce out no matter how you launched it and is very inconsistent. So we spent quite a while trying to think of ways that we can make sure it goes in with a high percentage um, and not completely change our design. Um, like just for example, like if you just like shoot it at this angle, and even if you shoot it lighter, it's just it's very easy for it to fall out. Um, so we tried couple ideas, such as it, uh, having a little funnel that would flip out like this, and it'll, it'll make a platform here. Um, we also tried just just shooting at different angles. What we ended up choosing is a piston that will hide behind this board, and then when we're ready to launch, it will uh, extend. So when we shoot and inevitably bounces out, it will slide in. And we found that actually had an extremely high success rate. And we also mainly did a lot of CAD yesterday because this robot is very wood. And we don't want it to be very wood, we want it to be very pretty. So we're getting ready to do the laser cutting of the metal. So here's the CAD. Um, we kind of outlined a frame. It's not super high detail right now just because we're trying to get things which is configured out. Uh, we're gonna water jet this back piece with some, um, two wheels and a flywheel there. And then we're using one inch aluminum tubing for the frame and we just figured out all the spacing with, with this, so. I would quickly mention that uh, the reason that we would have our little back plate that helps the notes go into the amplifier here uh, extend down on pistons rather than uh, just make the robot taller is so then our robot will still be able to travel underneath the stage uh, and be able to extend that which needs to be higher than uh, 28 inches and be able to retract it when it wants to go up under. The hard cap on height would be about right here, 28. Um, this is the metal bar that's under the stage, not the chain. Um, so that we have full access to the field and uh, access to the areas um, to mitigate defense. I mentioned for software work um, in the past, we have now uh, built out the software for all of our subsystems in the robot. Uh, so once those are mechanically constructed, we should be able to start programming, um, start tuning them, and make sure they work correctly. Uh, and something we also worked on uh, was LEDs, uh, making sure our April Tag vision tracking works nicely. Uh, we looked a little into auto path planning. Um, and then also, uh, one thing I was exploring, and this isn't exactly new for this year, but uh, the WPI Lib data logging uh, and using Advantage Scope to view that data. Uh, I've been trying it out and it looks very powerful, uh, very awesome. I would definitely recommend it for FRC teams, and there'll be a little more on that later. Finally, we put together the, uh, put the climber in a box, and it will be cut down a little bit more to fit within the 28 inch uh, limit, but it will be going about right here at this angle, at the well, same angle as the shooter, so then it can extend up, we can drive underneath, catch the chain, and then pull it back down, and this ends approximately right above the center of mass of our robot.